Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of PlayStation 5 free stock news when it comes to Target. We have some walk-in confirmations. We have some walk-in rumors. We have some actual employee information. We have actual potential stock for this actual restock and all throughout this week. And also just a lot of little just general stuff all floating around when it comes to the PS5 restock. This also does pertain as well to the Xbox Series X and S. So hopefully all of you guys out there that are still trying to get your consoles can maybe use this good old information to hopefully get you guys some good stuff going on. As well, if any of you guys are also on the lookout for SNL tonight, good luck. I know a lot of you guys out there that have bought some Dogecoin. You guys are all up on that one. So hope that all goes good for all of you guys out there. And as well, guys, I just thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on or as well for the PS5 giveaway that's going to be ending very soon. We have the Amazon links down below because we keep on seeing actual warehouses kind of pop down off. And I kind of feel like we're starting to get back into the actual Amazon restock wave that we're patiently waiting for for that. That's always linked down below for the PS5 disc and digital Twitter and Twitch stream as well. If you guys would like to go and follow those on up and of course, also the Weeble sign up for Weeble deposit $100. You guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin those are always linked down below let's actually dive in the actual video itself and if you guys want to smash the like button so guys let's go start off with the first of all news when it comes to the walk-ins and we'll have some other big updates as well for target later on so Throughout actually the past like one or two days, I actually have seen a, quite a few people from our community go and get the PlayStation 5s as well. We also did see some people up in some Discord groups I'm also in when it comes to everyone tracking all the restocks, confirming that they actually did have a chance to go get some consoles from the PS5, like the little electronic section or whatever, from Target. Now, this kind of makes sense because we actually had a Target drop about a week ago or so, and that kind of were also kind of pertained that typically Target will like to go and sit and hold on to stock that's either not been picked on up, has not actually been bought, or maybe got double bought. We'll get to that in a second. So we actually have been seeing a, a few more of these than we've actually been expecting from people walking into the actual Target stores and actually getting some consoles. We saw a few people up there. We saw one person up in Montana. We saw one person funny enough in Illinois from a place that's actually not even that far away from me as well. Well, we also saw something up in New York and also funny enough as well one store down in Texas for Target did also go and actually have some restocks for walk-in orders now everyone who actually had a chance to go and do this so far I reached out to two of them one person went and just said that they just asked the employees there is actually stock available and they got the last one apparently they had a chance to go pick up the console and it was kind of along the same lines of thinking where basically someone like never picked up their order and let me go touch on that really quick because people always ask. So more so whenever the target drops, which happened about a week ago or so, if you ever order something, as you guys know, you basically have a chance to hold on to that product for about like a week or so, or it depends on the company, it depends on the store, et cetera. Like for, it's kind of varies depending on like, it's like Walmart, Best Buy or whatever. So some stores will actually hold on to your stock for about a week or so. And then afterwards, if you just don't pick it on up, it's technically canceled on the person who ordered it. And it's just either free to be just do whatever with. So what we've kind of been noticing is that a lot of these places that just never actually had a store item picked up, they actually have a chance to go and sell them because they're sitting up in the back for the stock. Or they also may just be waiting for them for the next major restock wave as well for that store, say for Target. But for this, we actually have had people go and ask employees and go get consoles from walk-ins. Now, of course, this always is probably a little bit more on the seldomly happening side because most people, you know, want to get their consoles. They want to get their Xboxes, their PlayStations, etc. So ideally, if they have the email or the confirmation, they probably will go pick them on up but as of right now this is probably the rough good time to go and check and see for stores because they may have just extra orders that were never actually sold and of course this kind of happens a lot because sometimes maybe you have like 10 people trying to buy one console only one of them goes through but because it had like it sat there for 10 minutes loading and never actually got like the notification on the email or whatever or sometimes people go and double buy consoles so like they spam so hard or they're having like like boyfriend and girlfriend trying to go do it at the same time and then sometimes like they both go through and the orders get canceled so we actually have been seeing quite a few people getting consoles we've been seeing employees go and saying that they yeah, there's a few stocks floating around very low stock availability and also depends on your store if you're lucky etc but it might be worth checking if you guys are randomly bored or if you guys are also just going to target anyway maybe go ask and see very very much on the unlikelihood on it but we actually have been seeing people popping this on out up um, and it's also somewhat happened on the previous target get dropped to as well or about like a week afterwards we kept on seeing a few of these target walk-in restocks happening so 
You guys can kind of go and see. I don't think this is the same thing as how Walmart's been doing it, because I think Walmart is just pure actual, like properly giving consoles to go and sell. Same with kind of how Myers does it too as well for their walk-ins. And I think this is just more so for a leftover stack. But we have been seeing a few confirmations, a few receipts, and it's been enough that I wanted to report on it and let you guys go and know about the fact that it's actually kind of going on. As well, as I kind of mentioned too, we actually have still been seeing a little bit of like Walmart news kind of floating around when it comes to restocks and walk-ins and stuff. So in case you guys did go get one or checked or whatever, feel free to let me know. I'll probably have a little bit more of an update on that probably tomorrow morning. As well, just a quick reminder, don't forget it is Mother's Day tomorrow. So I think we actually will be doing a little bit of a fun video up for my channel for me and my mom. So if you guys are looking for that one, I'll try to hook you guys up and have hopefully some good content with Mama Scrubby so you guys can finally go meet her in, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, say hi to her. I don't, I don't know what people do up on YouTube. But uh, yeah, well, the best we can, I'll try my best to keep you guys up to that on Target and Walmart walk-ins and as well for Myers. We did see a lot of really good Myers rumors earlier on today and also last night. So maybe tomorrow might be kind of good to be on the lookout for tomorrow just in general. So I'll let you guys know tomorrow morning for the update video as well. I do want to make another quick update too as well for actual normal Target restock as well. So... As of yesterday, we actually did go and see the good old goat, Jake, go and actually say that more consoles have actually arrived over at the warehouse itself, which is usually a good sign. If you guys don't know, typically, like, the first wave is you get consoles into the country, then they go to all these, like, really big distribution centers, think how they did it for Amazon, Walmart, etc., and then whenever the console's physically there, then they can start divvying on out consoles themselves to go and start selling in stores. So that does actually make this target restock for this week, or at least in the upcoming next week week very very likely it's always very nice to kind of go and see the initial starting portions of everything because that basically means that like we see stock is moving that means we can see it kind of sit there and kind of patiently wait for it so it might be actually really good news either for this upcoming week maybe tuesday or thursday or as well maybe for just later on throughout next week as well it kind of depends on how fast stock moves how long it takes for stock to show up in stores when we start seeing employee leaks and target leaks and kind of going from there but it's very good signs when it comes to that I also did go reach out to employees, and we actually did have a confirmation that two consoles for PS5 a digital, not digital, disc, no digital, I actually went and showed on up for the actual Target stores themselves. So we're still waiting for more other the side consoles showing on up, but very low stock too as well, because that's not necessarily like a full-on proper restock, because I'm sure you guys know it's planting above, say, like 10 plus consoles. So as we have a chance to go and see that, we can kind of at least see that there is movement. We're seeing proper movement. We're seeing official movement, you know, from warehouses, stuff like that. And we also are now starting to see some consoles slowly going to arrive at all these places. We've also seen this trend too as well from previous restocks, where for say places up in Target, They'll get like, you know, one to three consoles for a week. And then eventually, like next week, they'll get another like one to three, one to two, whatever. Whatever stock is like available. And they kind of divvy them on out throughout a bunch of different stores. And then whenever the major restock happens, they get sent like 15 consoles just out of the blue and they just get a really big restack so as you guys all know that we are seeing the movement on it we have an employees actually confirming on it and we'll probably have more information all throughout the rest of this week when it comes to target restocking it's not 100 for sure restocking all throughout this week itself but with all the pre-movements always nice and if anything it might be more so prepping up maybe for a drop maybe like 10 days from now or so but seeing the stuff overall is always very very nice as well, a little sign moment too as well. We also did also go and see Target go and restock, like actually the proper drop uh, out and up in Australia. So very cool to go and see that. At least we are seeing some love for all the Australian homies out there because they definitely deserve the love in general, mainly because they've had barely zero restocks. So it's also some pretty good overall Target news just floating around for everyone out there in the first place. It's very, very nice to go and see. And especially for all that stuff, as I mentioned, the walk-in stuff, you guys can go and see. It's not confirmed, but we've seen enough that you might be worth asking for just to see if you guys can get a console or not. As well, when it comes to all the normal restocks too, and as we mentioned, with stock showing up at the warehouses, that's very, very nice to go and see. So pretty much all the good stuff we can keep on seeing from all the walk-in rooms, we keep on still seeing all these retailers slowly either at least having options or slowly working towards the options that people can go and start buying them on. So I've been loving seeing all this Walmart news and also a little bit of the Target news as well. Now, thankfully, we just have to have this happen more often or on more official restocks. And whenever that starts happening, I think that's when the real fun begins, because I know a lot of you guys out there are waiting just for normal PS5 restocks. You go into Best Buy or Walmart and you buy one on the shelves when they go into restock. And whenever that happens, then your boy's happy because it just makes the whole process so much easier for pretty much everyone involved. So 
Hopefully these utilities will keep on doing this. Hopefully we'll have more bigger target batches as well. And as I mentioned, if you guys do check your targets and have any stock, let me know. The likelihood is very, very small, of course, but we actually have seen some confirmation. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys all so much for existing. You guys are all fantastic. Have a good rest of your nights. Good rest of your Saturdays. We'll probably have another video up in a little bit as well. Always check on the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc and digitals. Definitely follow up the Twitter and Twitch stream link down below as always. Subscribe with the notifications on for the PS5 giveaway. And of course, sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100 and you guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed and comment down below your thoughts. And I love you guys all so much for existing.